hi and welcome to this channel i'll be guiding us on how we can build our android app so in order to build an android app we have to first understand the android structures so if you have installed this app from play store it's called code assist we are going to be creating our android app and the language is going to be in java so i can give us the theoretical concepts on how android app making is so this is the first video that's why it's better to have an insight on what you are doing before you actually do it so that you don't make mistakes so i'm going to click on this button this plus button and then i'm starting with an empty project my app name can be any name so i can just say test apk or anything then package name just like we have for website www dot app website name dot com so for android how it is is the com dot the website name so it's rather reversed so test so it's com dot test com dot test the language like i said is in java minimum sdk is 21 what i'm using 21 is because a lot of changes have been happening in Android. So at least if you want to go back and covering devices that you can consider not depreciated. Depreciated means something that is no, no longer supported. So if you want to consider something no longer supported, we should go back as far as Lollipop. That is the Android 5. Most Android devices don't run on Android 5. We want to support large Android devices and support more Android features. We can start from Android 5 and our Buddha is API 21. So our environment is being set up. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to click on this. We can see all this. Now what we need to understand is Android works on build, grid build, sorry. Android works on grid build. So where we are going to be coding is in any project we are going to be coding it will be inside this app folder then SLC SLC is short for source source code now under manifest we can see under manifest what we do in under manifest is we add permissions as if we want storage permission we can see in some apps where we'll be seeing um app want to request storage app want to access camera app want to do biometric you can see all these permissions so this is what is the work of android manifest so the extension of the file is an xml all right you can see our minimum sdk is 21 so our target sdk will be the latest android version for uploading to play store which should be 33 as at the time of this video, 33 is the latest Android version, that is Android 13. But later this year, 14 will be released. So that is the major concept for Android Manifest. So now we have two, two languages, which is the XML and the Java. So now the Java is where we could the function for instance the one plus one the two plus two the button click the the what we websites programmers we call it the back end so we do the back end in java why what the user sees which is the ui is what we do in xm in the rest layout so you can see in the rest layout is the ui so let's see the UI before we. So we can see the UI hello world. We can see the UI hello world. Now, if we want to change something in the UI hello world, we can just do something like this. You can change the text by coming here and say hello dear user. Dear user, thanks for joining me thanks sorry thanks for joining me so i'm going what this does is we can see our resume version is 1.0 now 
we have views in android we have views so now this is our parent view this is our parent view so if i change this color if i change this color by writing background we can go for the auto complete and then i write the s color code if i write the s color code as let's say 219 which is color blue which is color blue so if i check it if i preview my layouts if i preview my layout we can see we can see that the color of the background of the app changes so even if we run the app let's say we run the app by clicking on this play icon run and debug build when i click the install button it restores the apk if you run you can see that it still gives you the same ui so if i want to change this color if i want to change the color i use the tag background now if i want to change my test color let's say i want to change my test color the test color so we use all these tags to change just the ui so examine what it does is the ui so let's see how 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 is the ui attached to the back end logic how is the ui attached to the back end logic if i want to see we can see our color will change so as i told us java is what we use to to actually solve the real life problems that is the back end the audio coding and all that why would user sees is the xml so now in our java in android we have what we call an activity so I'm, I'm assuming you have heard about the word class in android we have what we call an activity so an activity is a page just like website as web pages an activity is a page it's a page that extends class so all the properties of a class an activity can function with it so now when our app has open on create is called so when on create is called we are going to set our view based on our layout so we can see rest layout activity underscore main set cont content view r layout activity underscore main so if my, if i create another layout and i want to set it based on that other layout i i hold this layout for a while long press click on new layout test layout okay then let's say i want to write a text like our text view so I am I first have to have an opening tag text view the layout height which is layout underscore height should be wrap content the layout width which is layout underscore width is still wrap content so now the text is text to or any word it can contain any word it doesn't matter so we are going to close our tag or any tag you open you close it so now if I want to set my activity based on based on it what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and change it to i'm going to change only for here to test underscore layouts so if i compile my app so if i compile my app you can see test two now to bring it to the screen is another small minor code to bring it to the screen i can do I can do my layout underscore gravity of the parent layout underscore gravity center horizontal and center vertical so if I run the app now I should see I should see that it's in center so thank you for this, this video now next tutorial we go more so that we can have more practical insight on it 
please subscribe and share this video i'll be uploading real life and practical tutorials so now we can make our ideas into android apps and all that phone tutorials math science technology and all that programming languages not just java why i choose java because as i've learned java i'm able to do it in Kotini. i'm able to do it in javascript and html even c plus plus because all of them have a similar know-how so if you can function in one oop because java is an oop what is an oop an oop is object oriented program so if you can have an idea on an OOP, you can also for sure with other programming languages. That's how it is. They have a lot of similar tags. I uh, can also do well in Python. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, share this video as we explore more Android practicals.